the things that I've done in terms of having designed a lot of innovation that the rest of the world can use now. And that's what I've done in the industry. I used that thinking process where, frankly, I was able to compete. I'm proud of that, and I hope the Filipinos are proud of it too. Because at the end of the day, I'm still Filipino. My inspiration came from my own father, who was just a simple farmer. But he clawed his way up so that we could go to school. I mean, that's where it comes from. My passion about um, studying, about working hard and so on, it came from my own family because that's, how, that's where I grew up. I did not give up. And my father did not give, give up either. Being in Silicon Valley, it's more of you better survive or you're done. It is a natural way of weeding out those who cannot compete. Once you are there and that you survive, that is pretty much your, uh, I would say, advantage over everyone else. Having known the Ateneo system of teaching a little bit, um, even if it's only high school, um, they, the Jesuits should stick with their formula. It came up to me that one of their, uh, whether it is purposeful or just the natural way they do it, is that that high school uh, in Ateneo de Tugigaro was all about critical thinking. And I reason out that that way of teaching us stayed with me and that I can say through my own experience that <clears throat> it's only through critical thinking that I was very successful in math and science. Uh, the thing that endeared me most uh, about uh, the discussion we had with was that he was uh, really looking at ways on how through science and technology and what he has seen of how trans transformational the effects of using science and technology is in forging a, a country's economy. Ah, greatest lesson I heard, I've learned from Dado probably would be one is uh, humility, that uh, he, uh, he never forgot where he came from. And I think that's the driving force that he has right now of uh, his uh, philanthropic ways of coming back to the Philippines and making sure that those opportunities exist for other talented individual Filipinos here in the field of science and technology to be able to find the same opportunities that he did you know, when he was growing up. Uh, the other thing is that uh, he's a very dependable and uh, as, as a mentor, he's always be, uh, very, uh, very uh, open and uh, available. What he has accomplished on a personal level and uh, the way that he has been able to mold an industry, uh, particularly uh, the, the tech industry and his, uh, his influence in it, I think is one of the legacies that he's going to be leading. Nobody can take that away, not from a Philippine perspective and not from a global perspective. Why do I think that we need more dados? I think we need more science and technology and engineers in our country. Uh, he uh, uh, clearly a very focused engineer. He was very deliberate with his words at the time, uh, very careful, uh, very clear in, in his thinking, uh, very focused on the whole engineering side. Um, but also a person who was interested in sharing his knowledge right from day one when we met him. He was also a person who was willing to mentor and, and bring out the best in, in others with respect to technology. He's a, a prime example of our ability uh, to shine on that front if you just give it the right attention, the right intellectual rigor and the right focus. Our country must adopt that way of thinking, starting from teaching or learning 
and then starting from being ambitious enough to understand, to come up with products that can compete against any country in the world that is also looking into those opportunities. So for engineering, um, physics, and all the other uh, science courses, we need a lot more rigor in letting our graduates pass. In other words, we have to accept that it is not easy and that if you really want to have those degree programs, you apply the right degree of scrutiny to get those degrees. He's always uh, very deliberate in everything he does. He's always willing to share. He's always willing to uh, uh, grow with others. He's, uh, he gets excited about bringing uh, like-minded individuals into his ventures. He's uh, a person who's always comfortable sharing knowledge and, and allowing others to share in, in whatever opportunities come his way. It's really also uh, a legacy for anyone who thinks that things are unreachable. That shows that things are reachable if you just have the determination and, uh, and grit and uh, resilience uh, to make it happen. We should celebrate the, the success of the Dados of this world that seek to emulate what he's created by, by lighting many more fires in, in the engineering and science field. Well, the first time we met was at a Halloween party. And so I think that was the first time he saw me. Instead of taking me out to dinner, he served me Twinkies and orange juice in the car. So it was kind of funny, but that became kind of a fun story for all our friends. That is a very honest guy, uh, no pretensions. He was not you know, pretending to be this smart guy or anything, but I knew that he's one person who's very um, focused on what he wants to do in life. We have scholarships everywhere for Filipinos, Filipino Americans and so on. So Maria and I, myself and Maria, we mean what we say, we will support it. But you cannot convert an entire country if you're the only one. <laughs> the leadership has to rally everyone. And hopefully we get there at some point in time. We can do it. They're very much um, excited about the scholars from Mindanao because they're not. They are so smart. They're so amazing kids. Um, a lot of them are also just like Dado, very ambitious, very hardworking, and has done really well. More than having more Dados, I think is having um, a lot more risk takers. Um, the risk taking is something that not many people would like to do here. So I think that's probably his biggest, the biggest thing that you can learn from him is taking risks. Phil Dev taught me something different taught me to be resilient, to think big, and that the word fail actually means first attempt in learning. Um, it opened my mind to endless possibilities. Um, I think Dado's legacy is his story to, be, to becoming one of the prominent things in science, science and technology, and now he's on a mission to um, make the Philippines um, develop through Field Dev Foundation. Also, we have a lot of very good minds here, bright minds. If Filipinos accept that, then maybe things will get better. It can be done. We are as bright as anyone out there. We just have to do it. We just have to do it. <laughs>